Hello, and welcome back to My Day Adventures. In this week's episode of Persons of Interest, we're going to examine the extraordinary life of one Joshua Abraham Norton. Norton truly is one of those only in San Francisco stories. Born around 1818 in Kent, England, he arrived in San Francisco sometime around 1849 after leaving South Africa following the death of his mother and two years later his father. Initially, Joshua was quite a successful business person dealing commodities and real estate. However, gambling in the rice trade eventually led to his financial collapse. Following a failed lawsuit regarding his rice contracts, his public prominence faded. After living in obscurity and near poverty for several years, Norton re-emerged in 1859 in a big way. It was shortly after his re-emergence that Norton, because of what he considered the inadequacies of of the legal and political structures of the United States, proclaimed himself Emperor Norton I, Emperor of the United States. On September 17, 1859, Norton sent open letters to the city's newspapers with his proclamation. Shortly after the newspapers printed Norton's proclamation for, of course, humorous effect, Norton added Protector of Mexico to his title. I'm just sitting here. I got time. During this period, Norton even had his own currency printed that was actually accepted as legal tender at many San Francisco establishments. The world seems small. We can sit Norton spent his days inspecting the streets of San Francisco wearing a blue uniform with gold epaulets, actually supplied by the army post at the Presidio. He often wore a beaver hat decorated with peacock plumes and a rosette. Whenever he needed his uniform refreshed, the citizens of San Francisco would contribute funds to replace whatever was needed. On the evening of January 8, 1880, Emperor Norton was at the intersection of California and Grand Avenue, where he collapsed and died. Some 30,000 San Franciscans lined the streets the day of his funeral to pay their respects. Norton was originally buried in the Masonic Cemetery, but when all the cemeteries in the city were closed and cleared, he was moved to Woodlawn Cemetery in Colma, just south of the city, where his tombstone can be seen today. But Norton's legacy did not end with his death. To this day, his name is still often seen in the city, including on restaurants and hotels. And over the years, there have been attempts to rename the San Francisco-Oakland Bay Bridge the Emperor Norton Bridge. There are several statues and plaques throughout the city, 
celebrating this very unusual man and this very strange bit of history of San Francisco. Like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time